February 22, 2014. Boston. Taylor, a student at MIT, went for a run with a friend. I heard there was a really nice day out. Um, unexpected. Unusual for Boston in February. Taylor's heart stopped beating. I came to slowly. It was like a gradual change. And because my heart wasn't beating, my brain didn't get any oxygen. I couldn't move anything on my own. I mean, before I was always very independent, so I had to rely on other people. Taylor has worked hard to regain some basic motor skills, but it has been a long road. While my vision has improved greatly, it is still very hard for me to read. I hope that the organ can help me read. As much as I like to be independent, I cannot yet like get the device in the mail and learn how to use it on my own. I need to be trained on how to use it. So the training, you know, was very useful. I was amazed at how accurate it was. Like that I can just point at something and they can read it to me. Two cortical neurons thus communicate with each other across 10,000 distinct chemical junctions. I use OCAM to read stuff that I cannot get in a digital format, which is fine. The future of food, a special dinner and discussion. Sometimes I don't recognize people. For instance, on the weekend we usually go to get breakfast at a coffee shop. It can be useful if I have not, you know, met this person for that many times or I don't, I'm not as familiar with their voice. I mean, I have a lot of small victories. The all time that they help me manage my life, like maneuver around in my environment. Orcam gives independence. I do want to be independent again.